Chicago Reacts back with another screen recording. We got Tyrese Gibson. I think that's the last name. But enjoy the ice smile as they forget what the next guy to say. You ain't got no head to drink popping on wanna pop. I just wanna upload. <clears throat> so man, it's um I don't know if, if if Tyrese calling out somebody or is he fed up with some stuff or something about to happen. I don't know. But it seemed like he was, um, y'all know how he is, man. You know, he was down. I don't know if he was down. I just think he was just preaching. And then he said a good prayer at the end. You know what I'm saying? So he was basically calling, wait, he wasn't calling nobody. Or he was just basically saying that, um, stop, stop looking up to these entertainers. Like these entertainers don't, like they don't care about you. They don't care about your life at all. But you got all this going on and you caring about their life, you know what I'm saying? You caring about what they doing, where they going, what they driving, what they what they in or what kind of car they in, what kind of house they in, what kind of girl they banging or the guys, whatever the case may be. But basically what he was saying that um like they miserable. A lot of a lot of these entertainment are miserable. That's because they got money don't mean nothing. But, you know, sometimes like when you do got money we we tend to look at them like, oh, they doing this, they doing that, you know what I'm saying? But I know the real, so, you know what I'm saying? I know people that's in the industry and whatever the case may be, I know they doing something. You can see they, they, they offer themselves. They, they like, like a lot of people that I got, that um got a big bag or whatever, you could tell they ain't really never had nothing because they showing it off. They... They bragging about this and they doing that or whatever the case may be. But I'm just saying I'm here to tell y'all and he was basically here to tell y'all. He was like they doing they doing eggs, popping pills, perk, Molly, narco, morphine, like he lower tabs, you know what I'm saying? He was saying all that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because what he was saying, you know what I'm saying? And it it's crazy that that people look up to, you know what I'm saying, celebrities. And plus, when they pass, like they be putting the, the uh, they be putting their picture out, <clears throat> they put their picture out, and put the the celebrity picture in their profile. Like I don't, I don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? But I probably do it. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, or I just you know what I'm saying? Put a picture up, or whatever the case may be. But I'm not finna be doing all this, and doing all that. <clears throat> whatever the case. Sorry for that. I'm sick. Sorry about that, but um, yeah, man, he was just basically talking about it. And then he had a long prayer at the end, and then he started reading the comments, like telling people uh, what they think about what he said. He said a lot, but you know, it is what it is, man. Right? Enjoy life, smile, live day. Forget what a hater got to say. You ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. But um, <clears throat> how was y'all Christmas though? Did y'all get everything y'all wanted to get? I got life. You know what I'm saying? I, I got some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, it, it is what it is. Christmas ain't Christmas no more once you get older. You know what I'm saying? Once you become an old head or you, you live a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about the kids now. I got teenagers. You know what I'm saying? I got little kids too, but it ain't it ain't the same. Like, I don't be like, oh, yeah, I'm finna see what I'm gonna get. Who, who finna get me some for Christmas? I don't even care about that no more. For real, it's about, to me, it's about giving, but um, <clears throat> like I said, I'm a uh, time stamp for that four minutes. It's your life, man. They they forget what the next guy to say, man. That is not fulfilled. You are gonna keep thick. You're gonna be chasing some shit. It's like I'm not happy with anything that's normal. So I got to go up and I got to take the drugs up. I got to take my sexual behaviors and sexual appetite up. I got to go do some extra freaky nasty shit. I got to go to the extra, extra. You just got to keep going and going, spending. And you're just, you're just spiraling and spiraling and spiraling. It's never ending. You're chasing something. And then when you get to this, 
then you're off to chasing something else. I'm not talking about an entrepreneur. Please do not confuse stability, instability with being an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are always hustling and looking for that new thing. I'm talking about people, men and women that are empty. And when I say empty, it does not matter how much money, who they fucking, what they live in, what their sexual preference is. People are so fucking empty and not fulfilled. And I thank God every single day. That my mother, rest in peace, many moons ago, introduced me to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because how am I not crazy? How am I not insane? When I uploaded that crying video, I was literally taking psych meds, which means that if I didn't take those psych meds, the video of me crying that was all over the internet would have never happened. Which means that I've been able to go through a whole lot of shit and I have not felt the need to become a drug addict, to become a sex addict that's like night and day. I got to go figure out a club and I got to be around a million people all day stroking my ego, validating me, giving me a million compliments because I am not fulfilled. If I lost it all, meaning the money, the house, all of this stuff, I'd be irritated. But the joy that I feel inside of me, the fulfillment that I have inside of me, I want that so badly for so many people that I know. So many people that I love and I care for personally. It doesn't matter if you've been married for 10 or 15 years. You could be in a marriage and not be fulfilled. You can have $40 million in your bank account and still be empty because you're not fulfilled. You can live in the biggest house, but there are people, do you understand fulfillment? You live in a mansion, you live on the water, so you're depressed for what exactly? Like there's nothing about your life that is connected to misery and depression. So now you're telling me that you could have a house and live on the ocean and still not be fulfilled. Because being fulfilled is something that starts on the inside. You have to figure out a way to be grounded in something because otherwise you're gonna find yourself always feeling like you are chasing something. I don't know why I'm saying this, why I'm talking about this, but I want someone to know that all of this shit that you see on social media, it's nice. Damn, that nigga got on all them diamonds. You know, wow, you know. Driving this, living in this, in the club, 40 bottles with sparklies being delivered to this section, and it look like somebody is living their best life. Those 40 bottles are not fulfilling. I'm about to turn 44 years old in the next couple of days. And I just wanted to jump on my IG live to just let the world know of all things that I thank God for. I 
thank God for being fulfilled. People with money still commit suicide. People who sold millions of records, movies, famous, 50, 60 cars in the driveway, money, having sex with the most beautiful, insanely models and all the above. If you're not fulfilled, it is the most miserable fucking life because you're going to be constantly chasing something because it doesn't matter how much you have it's never enough I just really wanted to jump on and just say in your one bedroom apartment in your studio apartment, sleeping in somebody's basement on the couch. Of course you want more for yourself. But most of the people I know with all the fame, the money, materialistic things that you were like, I, man, I hope I get to live and experience that one day. I've been able to live it and experience it all. But the one thing I find myself appreciating of all things, I am fulfilled. I don't love my house even more because people come to my house. I don't need nobody to come to my house for me to love my house. I am fulfilled. Me and my girl, Zelly, we barely leave the house, babe, right? Mm -hmm. Barely leave the house because we literally enjoy each other's company. That is being fulfilled. We'll sleep till 4 p.m., stay up all night till 3 a.m., just whatever type of clock and body schedule we have, we're just kind of floating in our own little world, just doing us. And if we try and explain to anybody what it is that we do, when we do it, how we do it, where we do it, you might be sitting up rubbing your chin confused as hell. Like, how are you so happy with doing that? What we do is fulfilling for us. Stop comparing your life to other people because you will never arrive at what fulfills you. The Christmas tree is nice. I never had a Christmas tree when I was a kid. It can be big ornaments. Somebody can spend a shitload of money and have this big old gigantic Christmas tree and be absolutely miserable. It is perception versus reality. I hope and I pray for you and all my friends, rich celebrities, all my entertainer friends, all I want for my friends and my loved ones is for them to get to a place in their life, whether married, single, divorcee, movies, no movies, singing out, whatever it is they're doing, I just really hope and I pray that you could, could, could discover something that is fulfilling to you. That's all I want. That doesn't mean I want you to have a million dollars. 
that may not be fulfilling. Doesn't mean I want you to go buy a diamond necklace. That may not be fulfilling. Doesn't mean you should go get the Lamborghini truck. That may not be fulfilling. I really hope and pray that you stop comparing your fucking life to everybody else's life thinking that that must be so fulfilling. You have to discover you and what is fulfilling for you. That's what I want. That's why I jumped on my live tonight. So many people are losing a lot of sleep thinking about everybody else's life. They putting filters on it, cut and pasting it, creating all these smoke and mirrors that's got y'all believing all the shit that they're actually posting. And you are naturally at home, caught up, stalking somebody else's life and robbing yourself of trying to figure out what's going to make you happy. What is fulfilling for you? What gives you peace? What do you want to better about yourself? What are your fucking goals? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? What, what, what's, what's on your vision board? What are you praying for? What do you want? You know the reason you ain't figured out what makes you happy? Because all you're doing is stalking everybody else's life and you caught up in every well, who they fucking, who they dating, where they going, what they driving, what they living in, who they dating, who you caught up in everybody else's shit and you sitting at home empty. You're robbing yourself of being able to discover what's going to make you happy. What is going to fulfill you? That's what I jumped on to say. I love you, Zelly. For being a complete weirdo. And just being unapologetically you. I don't know where the fuck you came from, but you are such a gift. And I'm so grateful that your weird aligns with my weird. And even if people don't understand us, let's just keep doing what we're doing. Because with you, I am fulfilled. I just wanted you to know that. I am fulfilled. And I don't know where you came from, but I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. I know I'm overwhelming you right now, but you're the gift that keeps on giving. I'm very grateful. When I met you, I was in a worst place in space ever just confused and I really believe that God took your hands threw a lifeline out to me while I was in the ocean about to drown he brought me in and he literally used your hands to just help love me and shape me into a better place. And the Capricorn in me will 
will make the choice to never, ever, ever forget that. Never forget what you did for me. Because it made a difference. You hear me, right? Mm-hmm. So, Zelly know what it's like to be out and about living her best life empty. She knew what it was like. It was plenty, plenty of years of Z out here living her best life. And we met and it was like literally, it was so instant. It was like everything about her life was suddenly in the rear view mirror. And she was like driving in a brand new car, not literally, but like the brand new car of her brand new life and everything about everything that she was doing, the moves she was making, the people that she was around, she just looked at them all in the rear view mirror, jumped in the car and was just gone. And I really believe that when you meet the right person, the right friend, the right spiritual advisor, the right group, the right village, the right tribe, Dropping all of these things that you think or you believe that you need or want, you'll drop that shit so fast when something about your your heart and the vibrations in your life becomes more fulfilling. The reason you're doing all of that is you're chasing something because you're empty. We are all looking to do something to be fulfilled. And I want that for you, badly. I want that for you. So as you're praying tonight after this live, Why don't you have a conversation with God and ask him some hard questions? What am I supposed to do, God? You know what? Let's pray. Let's close it out with a prayer. Let's close it out with a prayer. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but let's close it out with a prayer. Are y'all down? Just give me a thumbs up. If y'all want to pray with me before I close out my live, give me a thumbs up so I know y'all with me. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Okay. Seems like y'all are ready. Close your eyes, Zelly. Pray with me, please. Okay? Okay. All right. Father God, I love you and I trust you. Right now, it is very clear to me that we are living amongst the lost generation. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman doesn't matter what your tax bracket is, your educational background, nationality, race, whatever, suburbs, community, the ghetto, the hood, whatever and wherever you are living, one thing that seems to be unanimous all across the board is I feel like so many people are empty, desperately searching for fulfillment. They want their marriages to be fulfilled with joy and happiness, respect and boundaries and inspiration. 
They want their friendships to be healthy and beautiful where you don't have to feel like somebody's trying to pull a fast one on you. They want to get to know the higher source, the Lord Jesus Christ, or whatever their spiritual background is. Fill me up, God. I want to be more fulfilled. Yes, this person may have more money. Yes, this person may have certain opportunities that I don't have, but that has nothing to do with my personal fulfillment because I could be so secure and full in my soul and my spirit, rather I have as much as they have or not. Stop comparing your life to other people's lives. You will never be fulfilled from wanting and desiring what's not yours. Because God, listen to me, God will never give you something somebody else is supposed to have. And if he gives you something that somebody else is supposed to have, it's never going to feel like it's yours. Which takes you right back to that empty place and space of not being fulfilled. Suicide is not an option. Stay in it. Stay the course. Get on your hands and your knees and invite the Lord Jesus Christ into your most vulnerable, miserable, frustrated, depressive spaces and let God get in there for you individually and help him to turn it all around. Let him help you to turn it all around. What brings your neighbor joy will not bring you joy. What fulfills other people will not fulfill you. I so badly want you to discover your dreams, your visions, your plans, your life's intentionalities, and not have your visions and plans to be based on what anybody is doing. I want you to be fulfilled so badly. It would bring so much joy to me just knowing that you have figured out a way to be fulfilled from tapping into your life, your individual life. You are not sheep. You are not like anybody else in the world. God made you an individual. If you put up your finger, your fingertip, the fingerprints on your fingertip are one of one of one, which means that there is nobody in the world that is you. I want you so badly to tap into your gifts and your individual strengths, your visions, your goals, your plans, your spiritual journey. Tapping into the things that is fulfilling for you. This I pray. And I hope someone's listening. I want this badly for you. Amen.
Alright y'all. I'm about to shut it down. Go get me some sleep, which is fulfilling. <laughs> Babe, your new video is coming out tomorrow, right? Tomorrow at 2 p.m. So Zelly's going to be uploading. Oh. Mm. Zelly's going to be uploading a new video. <clears throat> She's spilling all the beans about Christmas and all of the fun that we had here. She filmed it all, edited it all, and it's going to be uploaded tomorrow on her YouTube, which is under her name, Zelly Timothy. Make sure y'all subscribe, lock in, get the notifications, all that YouTube language to where y'all could see all of this beautiful, fulfilling fun that we had over here for Christmas. Please tell me before I go, what city, state, or country are you in? I would love to know what city, state, or country you're in, and what are your thoughts? I'm going to shut up for a second. What are your thoughts about the things that I just shared with you guys tonight? I want to read the comments. What are the thoughts? Tell me what you think of what I just talked about pertaining to the lack of fulfillment and all of these people out here sexing, partying, clubbing, spending money, drugs, sexual deviant behaviors, doing all of this wild shit and they're still not fulfilled. What do you guys think of the topic? I would love to read your comments. Let me shut up for a second. I'm reading. Detroit here, we listen to God. Bless you. I'm reading y'all comments. What do y'all think about the topic about being fulfilled? I would love to read y'all comments. You have helped a lot of people with this video. Thank you. Gotta tap in to my fulfillment. Quit. You may, okay. And every single word. Hmm. You drop some gems or we'll pick them up. Be filled with God calmness. Mm, powerful strength mm. I feel peaceful right now thanks to you please understand what I'm saying, what I'm trying to tell you. What are you trying to tell me? The peace of mind is so important, I agree. Be still and know that I am God. Yes.
to go to sleep, so I just had to jump on real quick and give y'all some love. gifts and the beauty of tapping into your life, your journey, your vision, your spirituality, the vibrations of your friends and who you're dating, and the job and the hustle and the opportunities that you want to do and be. That's how you get to living a fulfilled life. I want that for you so badly to be fulfilled. It's just amazing. I want that for you. I'm going to leave this whole video up on my timeline. In case some of y'all missed it. Can I ask y'all for one thing? When I put this up on my timeline, can y'all please tag five people in the video so that they can see it? It's gotta be five people that you love and care for. I'm gonna put this up on my timeline and I want y'all to tag five people. Can you do that for me? Because the devil gets mad when you're trying to bring people to the light. The devil wants us to keep doing all this reckless, crazy shit. Empty life, no fulfillment. But this message tonight is definitely going to change some lives and get people to consider something and think about something they've never thought about before this video. I just need you to tag five people in it. Can you do that for me? All right. Love y'all.